video is an exciting one. We're going to start a brand new series of videos focused on building worlds in Unreal. Up until now, my videos have been primarily focused on materials and shaders. But now I'm going to broaden out a bit and show you how to do all of the other things required to create an outdoor environment. In the coming weeks and months, we're going to go over Unreal's landscape tools, foliage tools, and yes, even some materials and texturing techniques. These are things that I've been learning myself recently. In my work, I'm primarily focused on materials and performance optimization, so I'm excited to share these things with you and especially to get your feedback and insights. I know that a lot of you know more about world building than me, and so if you see something that I can do better in the process, be sure to let me know down in the comments so that we can all get better at this stuff. Okay, let's get started with our first three steps in creating a world in Unreal. We're going to go over these, and then if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you my progress so far in building a simple world. In some ways, I consider these first steps to be the most important. I've watched a lot of tutorials recently on the topic of world building, and I haven't seen anyone mention these yet, and it really makes me wonder why, because I consider these to be completely foundational to the whole process. The first three steps to building a world in Unreal are, number one, decide what type of environment you want to create. Number two, collect as much real world reference as you can. And number three, identify the key assets, materials, and characteristics that make up that environment. Now some of you might be saying, well, duh, of course I'm going to do that. Or I know what I want to build, I don't need reference. So let's talk about that for a minute, and then we'll go over the steps. First of all, you need to nail down what it is you're building. If you just start slapping assets together, you're going to end up with a jumbled scene that doesn't have a cohesive identity. You want to create a world where people want to jump in and explore. And the best way to do that is to create a place that reminds people of a place they've been, or something that feels familiar. If your scene has a cohesive theme and is grounded in reality, people will enjoy looking at it and playing your game in it. So is it a desert, a forest, a cave, a mountain, some ancient ruins in the jungle? This is your main theme. Nail this down first. Next, spend some time collecting as much reference about this main theme as you can. Google Image Search and YouTube are good resources here. Use all of the keywords you can think of and collect a large library of images. You might think you know what you're going for and what makes up that type of scene, but you'll be surprised what you can learn and how inspiring it is to see images of real world places. Nothing beats looking at the real thing, and if you skip the reference collecting step, you'll be cheating yourself out of a lot of ideas for materials, foliage, color combinations, and real-world characteristics. Once you have your reference collection, take a good look at all of your images and narrow things down a bit. You'll want to identify the basic shapes of the landscape, a set of materials that you see on the ground, the main types of foliage, as well as other characteristics like main color themes and weather conditions. Once you've identified these things, you're ready to go on to the next steps and start collecting materials and assets to build your world. It's exciting to build a world and you probably want to just jump right into Unreal and do it. But if you skip this part of the process, the foundation, you'll put in a lot of time building but end up with something that's not as good as you want. So. Give yourself the time you need to do the research and really learn about the place that you're building before you start. Okay, well let's go through this process together one step at a time. The first step is to decide what type of environment you want to create. For my scene, I've chosen to build a forest with a stream running through it. I grew up in East Tennessee near the Smoky Mountains, so forest environments have always been appealing to me and that's, that's what I want to build. The next step is to collect reference. 
I got on Google Image Search and found dozens of images that look like the place that I have in mind to build. It has lots of trees and vegeta vegetation with a stream or creek running through the middle of it. When I find an image that I like, I just save it to my reference image folder. So here's my folder full of my favorite images. Let's take a look at some of these together and identify the key elements. All right, so here we have our library of reference images, and I'm just gonna kind of run through these really quick so that you can get an idea for what we're going for and for the types of images that I've found. I love a bunch of these shots like this one that are just so green and verdant uh, with moss growing on the rocks and the water kind of cascading down. It's just really beautiful. I'm just gonna kind of keep going through these images. And uh, what we need to do is identify some key assets and some types of ground materials and also uh, weather and color combinations. So I think it's pretty obvious from looking at these that our key assets are gonna be water, rocks, uh, trees, and maybe some fallen logs as well. Uh, we have uh, streams here with tons of rocks in them like this. Uh, the rocks are covered with moss, so if we can find some elements like that, that would definitely be a plus. Uh, let's also look at some types of ground. Here we have, in the middle of the water, we have a whole bunch of like pebbly stones. So we're gonna need to find some of that. Uh, here's some examples of some ground with some moss growing on it, so some mossy ground as well. We also need to find uh, a ground material that can represent the ground underneath the water. And so we're gonna need some kind of muddy looking stony ground. And here's a good image. Over here on the right, you can see that there's some, some muddy ground uh, that has all kinds of rocks in it. So we need uh, mud, we need dirt with rocks, uh, and we need uh, moss. So, and, and in terms of assets, we need kind of undergrowth and vegetation, maybe ferns. And we also need trees, fallen logs, uh, and especially rocks. All right, so you can kind of see how this process goes. We just kind of keep looking through our images and looking for different elements. And the nice thing about having an image library like this is we can easily identify what we need and create a cohesive scene that matches what we see in reality. So now that we've taken a look at these reference images that I collected, the next thing I wanna do is take you into Unreal and I'll show you my work in progress scene and we can take a look at how that's coming along. Okay, so here we are in Unreal and you can see the scene that I've started to put together. You can see that based on the image reference we just looked at, I've got uh, lots of rocks, some kind of fallen tree trunks, some ferns, some undergrowth, and some vegetation. And if I look up here, you can see that I've got some tree assets in my scene as well. Now this is very much a work in progress. Uh, I'm still working on this. Um, there are a lot of elements that I'd still like to get in here, but I kind of wanted to show you guys up front what this looks like so that you could know what to expect in the coming weeks and months. What we're gonna do on my channel is kind of dive into this scene and take it apart and Step by step, I'm going to show you what I did to create this. So we're going to start out going over landscapes and how to create terrain and landscapes. And we'll talk about landscape materials. And we'll talk about assets and the water shader that I created for this. Um, the placement of the rocks and the ferns. And we're just going to go over all of these topics in depth. Uh, and I'm going to take this scene a little bit further as well and maybe add some background elements and things like that. Um, but that's what we're going to be doing on my channel for uh, the next several months. So if you like what you see here and this is something that you're excited about learning how to do, um, be sure to subscribe to the channel and look forward to these videos. Uh, every Thursday we're going to jump into this scene and uh, learn how to, to build worlds together. 
I hope you're excited about that because I am. I'm really looking forward to going on this journey with you guys. And uh, I'll see you next week where we're going to talk about uh, getting started uh, with a basic landscape. So have a good week, everybody.